What's going on? I go by the name of Income Cam, and I'm going to show you how to elevate your lifestyle in 2023 so you can go to the next level. And I'm 44 Shark, man, and I'm going to show you how to get a million dollars worth of gaming. Credit, real estate, trucking, consulting, any business you feel free to make that million dollars and spend it well in. Got my brother 44 Shark here, man. First and foremost, bro, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to link with you for a minute, bro. You already know. Um... Man, you got a lot going on right now, bro. Got a lot going on, man. I introduced you on my Instagram live the other day. 44 Shark. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get familiar with, with the name, 44 Shark. 44 Shark, 2Ks, man. Business credit mogul, real estate mogul, $5 million in asset management. Yes, sir. 12 months, right? Yes, sir. 12 months. Uh, man, come on, bro. Like, what? Let me just get into <laughs> like, it, what, man. What don't you do at this point? Shoot, I don't clean houses. <laughs> <laughs> But, I don't but, but you, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you can get someone to clean them up. Oh, yeah, we definitely yeah. get a cleaner. We get one. You know, she come by $100 in the other two days. Oh, man, come on. She doing well. You getting into the trucking industry too now, right? Yes, sir. I've been in the trucking industry for about a year and a half, yeah. actually. I got about six trucks going, okay. two semis, 426 foot box trucks. Yeah. We're grossing about $60,000 a month, and that's straight off credit, man, how we started that, man. 60K a month. 60K gross a month, man. And how long it took you to start that up? Uh, really, it took me. I jumped straight into it. Cause I, I get, this the thing, bro. I get a lot of people right asking me how to get into the trucking industry. A lot of people want to start getting into the trucks. They go try to get approved for a truck. They get denied, right? So they don't even understand like the first step of even getting approved for a truck. They go get they get denied for cars. So I mean, how do you even get approved for it? Like, what is the first step of even getting approved for a truck to get into the truck industry? First thing first, man, is you want to get your business credit together. You know, you want to get your Duns and Bradstreet. Yeah. You want to get your address. You want to get a, a virtual mailbox, but it looks like an office yeah. and not your residential. So when you get that mailbox, when the banks and the lenders look you up, they see that your address is zone commercial. Hold on, hold on. Slow down now. Slow down. Slow down. You say virtual mailbox. Virtual mailbox. Which one you recommend? Anytime mailbox. I, okay. And they definitely need to pay me, man. I've been like, showing them a lot of love, shooting them a lot of clients. Yeah, they probably they ain't got no affiliate link. No, they don't. Opus do. Opus does. Yeah? Yeah, Opus got affiliate link. Damn. They get like $50 to everybody to sign up. I need to. I need Opus to. is a good one. I, I, I tell people to sign up for Opus. Mm -hmm. um, I tell people to sign up for uh, iPostal. Those are good. And they're cheap. Like, like, how much is Anytime Mailbox? Really, it's like $14.99 a month, or you can get it for the year, about $150. Oh, no, you can't beat that. I say do it for the year, because yeah. I mean... They come with the phone number, too? No, I don't come with the phone number, okay. just the address. But uh, they scan, they'll mail it to you if you say your business is... Because uh, a lot of people, for tax benefits, open their LLCs in like Wyoming, Delaware, and Nevada. So right. when you open it up a business... Oh, you talking heavy now. <laughs> in those states, you don't pay you know, state taxes. Hold on, slow down. Slow down, bro. You going... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we're going to get into that Delaware, right? Hold on. So we want to tell them how they're going to get into the truck industry real quick. My hold man, on. Man. Slow down. Four, four, sharp, man. Listen, the guru. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> slow down. Listen, so so for, for the people, like, let's, let's, let's start them off with the trucking, right? How their credit profile needs to look, what it takes to, you know, even formate their LLC properly to even be approved for a truck. So basically, how you want to structure it is you don't want to structure it as a trucking company. Rule number one, keep trucking out of it. High risk. High risk. Yeah. You're right there. High risk right there. You're not even going to get- No funding. No funding because yeah. you can get a truck from a lender, an equipment loan or an equipment lease. Yeah. And you don't have to say it's for a trucking company. You know, you're just trying to get the loan at this point. Exactly. So you want to leave trucking out your name, stick with consulting enterprise, mm. marketing, you know, capital, you know, just things of that nature so you can get... And them gems right there, bro. Yep. A lot of people don't understand high risk. They go just N N A I C S code, sit codes. They just throwing it on there, right? Real yeah. estate. They just, you Crazy. know what I'm saying? They just throwing it on there not understanding that that can make or break your, your chance for approval, especially in an underwriter's decision. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, I mean, so you're saying consulting... Um, that's a, that's low risk. Low risk. Marketing. Marketing. Capital. Okay. You know, and uh, that's pretty much it. So what man. about the people that have like an LLC that say JL Trucking, right? They still put it under that? No. 
Okay. I mean, if you already don't even use trucking, don't even put trucking in there. If yeah. you already have trucking in there, cool, man. You, it's not gonna make or break you. But we talking about if you look in the scale, if you looking to see that million in under thirty days, if you look into getting those financial institutions, mm-hmm. that's just gonna give it to you because basically they just think you are using this semi truck for say, I don't know, maybe you just moving like you own a farm, right? Right. And you're like, hey, it's a family owned farm, but it's, uh, you know, it's our business. So I just want to purchase the truck to move some hay. Yeah. You know, from our from one of that's, our that's farms. just to get in the truck. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, that's nothing. Yeah. Really, you about to get that DLT number, MC number and, you know, line some, it up, make some money. You, out that thing. You about to line it up. You finna go crazy. So let me ask you this, bro, because like I said, a lot of people ask me about that. Right. And we're going to start there because a lot of people do. it. It's like one of the questions I get between real estate and trucking. Um, People ask me, can they personal guarantee a, L, a new LLC to go get approved for a truck, right? And they come back and say, you know, I tell them, and get denied. What is, what is the determining factor when they go in there, right? If they have a new LLC, right? Mm-hmm. And they're looking no to get approved for a truck that's, let's say, 130000 Well, first thing you want to do is the structure is important. Make sure your address is, is reporting even if you don't have any crazy business trade lines, make sure your address is reporting to Duns and Bradstreet, Business Equifax, and Business Experience, a okay. small business financial exchange. Mm-hmm. Because it's you, BFE. you want your addresses to match when those lenders pull your credit on your business because if it's not matching, then they're not going to be able to find your profile and they might just deny it just straight off address saying they cannot find the business. Right, absolutely. So you have to be highly searchable. And then that even goes back to the Google Knowledge Panel, Yelp, right? Four All one, of that. 411, 411 white no. pages. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yellow pages, white pages. Yeah, and 411, 411 listeners, that's, that's easy. You yep. know what I'm saying? That, and that'll get you there. Um, so having your business formed properly, that's the first step. But how do their credit profile need to look if they don't have any trades on there? If they don't have any trades, just make sure the address is reporting. Yeah, and once it's reporting, right. man, and you go in there and personal guarantee, because you got over that 680 credit score. Yes, sir. And you can get that. Yes, sir. You can get that. How many trucks you got, bro? Trucks? I got six. You got six trucks? Six trucks, On man. the road right now. On the road right now. They making money while we over here making this Making money and you're sleeping, not on your feet. I'm telling you. <laughs> now, that's crazy. That's how you, I mean, that's the goal, though, bro. Yep. To make money and you're sleeping, not on your feet. You know what I'm saying? I'll, and OPM. Other uh, people's money. I, I like them credit lines, bro. And it's just like in the trucking industry, it's a great business to start because it teaches you the fundamentals of a business because some people aren't, not even they, let me stop there. I'm not saying some people aren't business minded. Some people don't know how to run a company. Yeah. It teaches you how to be a CEO. Yeah, facts. And not everybody's a CEO, so you got to learn. It's like going to school. So it's teaching you overhead and how you can you know, monetize that gas car because, you know, you got to pay those every seven days. You got to pay those every 15 Net days. That's seven terms. You know. See, everything ain't on that 30 terms. Mm-hmm. I told them that 30 was dead, bro. I say net 30 is a dead. You know why? Because it's the same pattern that everybody's using over and over and over. Uline, Quill, Granger. You know. Guess what they do? They go in there, don't pay nothing back. You know what I'm saying? Mess your old credit profile. Pushing them into them term loans, right? Mm-hmm. UCC ones. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Pushing them into them high tier term loans. See, everybody ain't ready for that conversation. Yeah, man. And then when you get <laughs> when you get those when you get those UCC ones in derogatory, when you start seeing them and you start getting these cards and you start getting these loans, you know you're gonna see these lenders. They make mistakes. Yeah, They'll facts. sometimes put a UCC one on your business credit profile and then put it in derogatory. And see, that's when you need to file a UCC three statement to request. What's going on with that filing? Exactly. And then to correct that, neither need to amend that, remove that, you know, and so forth. Bro, you just told me you had some too on, on removing collections from the yes, business sir. credit, bro. That's a, that's a gem right there. Yes, sir. That might be the first one in the, in the whole business credit industry, the first one to do it. <laughs> Listen, man, business credit request, oh, excuse me, excuse me, business credit removal letter, man. Nah, that's a nuts. It's crazy. Yeah, because, hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, like them little gas cars and shit, they be falling into collections and shit. Mm-hmm. I had a few, you know what I'm saying? So, 
And you, and you know, yep. I mean, everybody tell you can't get that shit removed. I think I tried to get it removed. That shit didn't get removed. You, know? yeah, so man, you got one removed. Yeah, I got it. crazy. I, I, got, I got one removed. And it's another thing, man, sometimes you can lose track of because you have so many yeah, cards. Yeah. You'll slip and it'll say like slow 30 yeah. or slow 60. Yeah. Basically, like you paid it back slow. Maybe you paid yeah, exactly. it back. 35 days or 45 yeah, so You don't want days. that DBT though. Ah, you don't want doing, you know, doing behind terms. Yeah. But I have a letter for that too, man. We're no. going to drop that in. We're going to drop that in the bio so y'all guys can get it, man. Man, come on, man. You're going to get it, for days. I'm hey, man, you. you pushing it to this real estate the crazy way though, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely finna tell you, which um, that's well building, man. You know what I'm saying? A, another level of well building, right? Five million in under, under 12 months. Under 12 months, You know man. what I'm saying? And, and, and cash flow. Cash flow. And I did it through business credit because basically you're going to run into these things where you need these private lenders, man. Yeah. And people are like, man, I don't know no private lenders. How am I going to get into that, man? Well, I got a private lender list as well that's going to be on sale for you guys. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and drop like three of them out there for free, man, for y'all guys that's watching. Yeah. We got uh, Ooh, Finance got of America. Yep. We got Lima One Capital and we got Carly Capital. That's in the link. We're going to drop the link. We're going to drop those links. Free man. link. Free game. Free yeah. gems. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have to provide tax returns, man. Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So no tax returns, no audited financial statements, none of that. Nothing, man. Nothing's needed? Nothing. Come on, man. Only thing you're going to need is a 20% down payment. Oh, they need that, though. You need that. Yeah. But I'm saying- If, if you, you want to know how to get that, man, click the link below upyourincome.net. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show them how to get it. Up your income, man. Y'all get with my <laughs> I'm man. I'm going to show them how to get it. Gonna or you can get the mentorship, and, 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 and you're going to show them how to get the 20% yes, fast. Fast. Mentorship usually going for five thousand, yeah. but in the next twenty four hours we're gonna drop it down to fifteen hundred for you people that's out there. Fifteen hundred, right, fifteen hundred, man. man. Five million in real estate, twelve months, bro. Like, what kind of properties do you have? What's the cash flow looking like every month? Cash flow. So basically, typically on a property, we're looking in the Midwest where the medium of the asset is around a hundred to two hundred and fifty thousand. The reason why I say that is because there's more equity in those deals. Like for instance. We got a, a lot of our uh, assets with our property in Michigan, Metro Detroit area. Those those areas and those properties come out to about 150, 175. Yeah. But see, you can grab those properties for around 20,000, 10,000. You know, you can get them. Uh, you know, tax lien sales. Yes, sir. You can uh, you can drive for dollars and get those houses. If y'all don't know <laughs> what driving what, for dollars. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what driving for dollars is, that's basically driving around, looking around for driving, some houses, distressed hey, houses. <laughs> go pull that. Go pull that. Uh, that name. Look you it gonna, up. You finna teach me how to burn some gas money, man. Some hey, gas, man. Like. You need to get you a Prius with that business credit. How you feel about <laughs> prop, how you feel about prop stream? Prop stream. Yeah. Prop stream, real good, man. Yeah. Uh, Prop is a good one. Uh, it's a couple other ones, but I don't want to drop those because that y'all gonna have to pay for that. That's in the mentorship. I but, can't get everything. Well, we'll give them a prop stream. We'll give them prop. Hundred dollars a month. <laughs> give them yeah. some data. Yeah, you that, know what that, I'm that's reasonable. Yeah. That's feasible. And that's what I like. How you feel about wholesaling too, bro? I want to ask you about that. Too. Wholesaling is is really great. Yeah. But in today's market right now, what uh you know this interest rate is good for creative financing where you don't that's even have to go to the bank. That's a fact. Where you go to the seller. And you agree to it. some terms with them. I would say with the terms, I would say with that seller is, you know, you want to structure the payments over 30 years, but you want to, you know, you want to have the deal that you're going to pay them off in like three to five. Like you're going to refinance and just go ahead and cash them out. See, bro, you like, you like, you like Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he ain't cut his hair and his money went up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, them Afro, yeah, yeah, you know something, bro. I'm telling you, <laughs> Nah, man. that's a gem, though. I'm you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people they be pushing into the wholesaler, thinking they finna get in the wholesaler, right? And they finna just go get twenty thousand every month on, on a on a on a deal, right? Yeah. They're gonna reassign and get twenty thousand. Now I understand that that game it really has shifted. You know what I'm saying? You can get creative financing now, even for the earnest money deposit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And a lot of people don't have earnest money deposit. Yeah, they don't. You know what they I'm don't. saying? Or they end buyer. But unlocking credit lines, being able to access credit lines, you have you can you could be the buyer. You know what I'm saying? 100 percent man. But really, man, when you get into those type of deals, man, you honestly, you really, really want to do these type of things. Because once you find a deal, yeah, you wanna you, you wanna consult with somebody, a mentor. For for sure. A mentor, man. I'm telling <laughs> Money you, invest team. in the mentorship. Once you invest in that and you got your, your contractors, man, twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars. 
for the rehab. Mm -hmm. That's fifty thousand dollars all in. Yep. Now you at one hundred and twenty, man. That's Easy. over fifty percent on return on your money ROI, man. That is important. And then you know what's crazy, bro? Yep. Uh, you can do this, man. No matter what your background looks like. Alex, you can really unlock well no matter what your background look like. Mm -hmm. Felonies. I don't care what you done did in your past. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Anybody can jump into that game, bro. Anybody can jump into it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like people get stagnant, right? Their mindset. They don't even realize like how we having this conversation right now, two black men, yep. we're talking about really wealth building and how s simple it is. You know what I'm saying? But people's minds been conditioned right to where they don't even see it. You know what they do? They go try to rent an apartment, rent something. And guess, and guess what happened though? They get denied and get discouraged. Get discouraged. That is saying, man, it's ownership, man. You own this shit and, and learn how to cash flow. You know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy? Like, I'm glad you tapped into that apartment thing. Yeah. Man, there's such thing as corporate leases and people are like, man, how am I going to get a corporate lease? Yeah. I still got to, you know, go in there and undersign it. Yeah. For, well, for it's sure. employees. I'm pretty sure every one of your employees is not a felon. Right. You know, your girl, maybe not yeah, telling you, your mom, exactly. might be a you're putting them in, yeah, that's what you're putting them into the place. And it's not that they're signing the loan that it's gonna fall back, they're not even, they're just an officer in the company saying, you know, gonna run their background, saying they're an officer in the company back in the EIN. That's a jam, though, exactly. That's a way in doing a corporate lease. But to see, the issue is with a lot of professionally managed properties. Man, they, they be taking through all type of hoops and all type of loops to get that corporate lease, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pri private on, but it, it take you through a lot getting them corporate leases. You know what I'm saying? And that's where it comes in with that business funding. Right. So this is how you come at them. Make sure you got a, a business plan. Right. And, and not just saying, oh, you're going to go in there and do Airbnbs. No, don't go in there. Yeah, that's going to get you goddamn. They're going to turn you right around. Yeah. Go in there and show your finance statements. Yes. Say, hey, man. Pull your, pull, your, um, pull your business credit profile. Say, hey, this is my business. This is how it's structured. Yeah, this is we, what we're producing. We're going to have some of our team members stay over here, you know, while they're in town. Show them their revenue, too. business. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They like to see their revenue. Show them, man, I'm not new to this. You got to show them I got some skin in the game, too. Make sure you take those people out to lunch. Yeah. Show them that and then take them out somewhere. Hey, you mind if I take you out here to coffee? I, just, <laughs> I got some things I just want to talk to you about. Yeah. Running by you. You but that ain't gonna that. work for everybody though, sir. That's some, you know what I'm saying? Well, shoot, slide Man, up You gotta have the gift of gab, bro. Like everybody can't just you go. You gotta have the gift of gab in that money. I bet you'd be like, you know what? You know, going on with a hundred? So I just, you know, here goes a hundred dollars. I just, can I borrow thirty minutes of your time right here at Starbucks? My nigga say, uh, absolutely not. They might, they might. It just depends how you come and how you, how you dress. Not for real though. How you, how it's you a mindset thing. Yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a mindset thing. It's 80% mindset. It a lot is. of that shit be easy as hell. It is. It's just 80% mindset in doubt. People doubting, like, man, that ain't, that ain't gonna work. You it's, know what I'm saying? I know. Never man. ran the play. You know what I'm saying? Never ran the play. Never ran the play. But when you run, like, riding around so many plays, like, I just go out there and do it. Mm. Forget, bro. I'm just finna, I'm just finna try. You know what I'm saying? And, and you come out on top, like, yo, so that, I man, yeah, going and not trying to woo them, and, you know what I'm saying? Try to get no, them. Or, or, or even, even, even the guys, right? You can go easily get the female. Female. You know what I'm saying? Send her in there. Then show up to the meeting. <laughs> hey, yeah, this is my yeah, colleague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, 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 this is who you really need to be. <laughs> <laughs> that was the beta, man. And also, man, it's beta also, switch. It's also important, man, when you're doing these memes. Like right now, we in a podcast. I got my Mary jeans on, yeah. my Mary shirt. Come on, man. When I'm in the business world yeah. and I'm over here trying to do a deal. Put it on. You got to put that suit on. Man. Put it on. You have to. Put it on. If you going up to that leasing office, man, and I'm dressed like this, they gonna think I mean I'm a hoodlum or something. I need yeah. to go ahead and throw my little suit on, throw my slacks. Come on, man. Little dress shirt button up, Come man. Come on, man. And go in there and present myself, shake his hand, look him firm in the eye, and say, man, I'm trying to talk to you about something. I really got something big, and I want you to be a part of it. But guess what, though, man? It, it, you know, it, I'm gonna tell you something, man. Time's changing too, bro. It ain't even about your wardrobe, mm -hmm. how it used to be. It's not. You know what I'm saying? It's about your approach, how you articulate yourself. How your ass look on paper for real? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real though. But you gotta understand. You gotta think, bro, because I'm gonna tell you the truth, bro. Just cause you go put that suit on, cool. But one thing they can't deny, when they pull it and they pull it up, they can't deny that. You talking about money though. Money's talking. Now the money's talking. Nah, nah, this black and white talking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm established on, on paper. You know what I'm saying? I'm going out with a white T on. Oh, 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 denied? 
lawsuit, discrimination, racial discrimination. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yep. Got a little right on that paper though, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're right about that. You got to. People skip that stuff. And it, it, you know, all this shit be finessing for real. Man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't always about finessing. See, I, I'm trying to get people out of that mindset of finessing. Get your, your, your black and white together. Mm-hmm. Get your credit together. You know what I'm saying? Get your, get your how you look on paper Relationships together. with the bank. With the bank. <laughs> you know what I'm with saying? With the bank. Yeah, you going there with a white tee. You don't think a man just went out somewhere and chased somewhere in the world and pulled out two mil and, and, and some thong flip flops? But he built that relationship on that piece of on that black and white. Exactly. He had to build that relationship first. <laughs> exactly. He didn't walk in there with that white tee and his and he had no trade lines. He had hey, nothing man. going on with that business. Exactly. <laughs> now nah, he didn't do that. They pulled him up like, hold on, sir. Could you step out uh, out there for a moment? Yeah, man. Security start stepping close to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Start reaching. <laughs> But now nah, you got to get your black and white right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that's all about financial literacy. That's why I be pushing my people into becoming more financially literate. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't always about putting that shit on. And everybody thinking, man, I'm just going to put this shit on. Look like money, you're going to bring money. That used to be my mindset, bro. You look like money, you're going to bring money. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But, man, you got to really be money. Yes, sir. They pulling this stuff up. The banks ain't, they ain't looking at, oh, he got a mirror jeans. Let's give him a loan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's give him a loan. He got a mirror jeans on. Let's give him a loan. Nah, they don't care about that. Nah, and that's that mindset that, that, that people got messed up, especially the younger generation, bro. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got the cardio, the cardio watch, the ice on. You know what I'm saying? And, and bro, like, you walking in there and they're looking at you crazy because you got a 400, 490 credit score. 490. Talking about nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's no conversation to be had. But when you look good on paper, it don't matter how you walking up, bro. It don't you know matter. what I'm saying? It don't matter That's why I be pushing people is. into getting their credit together, getting business credit together, learning these fundamentals, right, on how they can. So you can go in there confidently, you know what I'm saying? No matter what I got on, I'm, a conf- I'm coming out with that bag, regardless. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm coming out with that bag. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? That's why I'm pushing people. Man, get your paperwork. It's net. You, anybody can do it. Anybody. Anybody can't go in there and finesse them, though. No, it ain't. That's a, that's a skill. That's a <laughs> That's a skill. Finesse and builds a relationship. Yeah. And, when, and when you build that relationship, you need to learn how to exploit it. Like, it's not even also a relationship with the banks. It's also a relationship with people you know. Yeah, facts. Mom, dad, auntie, girlfriend, colleague, school, people that work at your job. Yeah. Because these people may have a 700 credit score, yeah. but they don't know what to do with it. So you can add them to your operating agreement. Facts. Right? Now you go to the bank. Because your credit score is a little low, or it's a little low at the time right now that you started the business, but you trying to, you gotta get, you trying to get that million dollars in yeah, thirty. So days. you ain't even gotta wait on it. You ain't gotta you wait. You gotta wait on it. You know what I'm saying? You go on Tinder and do that, can't you? <laughs> go find somebody on there Tinder. There you go with this Tinder swindler. Not the Tinder swindler. He gonna have nah, this on nah, Netflix. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah. I think you told me about the Tinder. I don't play. know what he's talking about, man. <laughs> now you said Tinder, right? Nah, nah, I don't, nah. I don't nah. None of that. But nah, I mean, you got people right there in your backyard sometimes, though. Auntie, uncle, cousin, friend. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie, bro. A lot of time for real, for real. Let's just be real. Man, them people, nah, I ain't doing that. They don't even really want to see you win. Exactly. You know how many times I asked right. my aunt to co sign on something? It, they ain't messing my credit up. It's different, though. It ain't no co signing on a car on something on a personal level. Yeah, anything, on a you know, bro. It's just people are really like, really, you know, they serious about their credit, especially when they spend a long time establishing that credit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're right about that. So, yeah, you might get turned down. That's why I say you got to get your own credit right. You have to. You, you yeah. ain't got to go ask nobody. 100%. You know what I'm saying? You got to ask you for nothing. Like, I 100% agree with you. Get your own credit right. You could do what they did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, right. it's not a skill. It's not. It's a formula. Y'all man, get with my man Cam. Y'all want the formula, man. Get y'all credit. Done. It's a formula. Up your income down there, man. I'll show you how to do this for real. 30 minutes of your time, you sit down. <laughs> man. The first 30 minutes, they're going to see They're going to, oh, hold up. Whoa, this is different right here. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because, man, it is mindset. I can show you how to do this shit all day, but still, you got to be able to sit down. You know what my new phrase is, bro? What's going on? Talk to me. Don't be addicted to information and allergic to execution. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? And that's the problem with a lot of people. They just addicted to information. Mm, go look it up, look it up, and they never go execute. They got the information right there. And it's 500 credit score. Go run the play. I gave them a CLPB play. Mm. Gave them Metro 2. 
I might have been one of the first ones to give him extra. I tell you, you were the first one to do that. I gave him that. Prodigy search. Now I give him, give him Dispute Panda. That's a Metro 2. AI. Artificial intelligence cleaning your credit. You ain't even got to do nothing. Artificial intelligence cleaning your credit for you. Jeez. Five minutes, you go type up a, a factual dispute letter, put it in the CLPB. Can, I, bro, I can't tell you how many people done pulled 19 collections off. Lady sent me a screenshot on my Instagram. She pulled 15 collections off, bro. Use a consumerfinance.gov. That's crazy. Free information. Never sent off nothing. All you had to do was use Wi Fi. For real? Ain't paid a credit repair agent, nothing. Now, man, drop a comment below, man. How many of y'all use the CLPB method, man? It got shit removed. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I can't tell you how many people, bro. Free gym, you know what I'm saying? So it's all, it's all about execution, for real. Man, people be allergic to I mean, addicted to information. They just, they want to consume it, but never go run the play. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They don't so, run the play, man. You ain't got to go ask nobody, man. Hey, hey, can you approve, get me approved? You know what I'm saying? But for, for sure, you ain't ask nobody, man. Stop playing. No, I ain't ask nobody. <laughs> you ain't ask nah, nobody. I got that out the mud, and then yeah. I, put, I put my assets behind it, man, and that, and that just grows once that money. So you is, mentioned something, right? Uh -huh. You mentioned the operating agreement. Mm -hmm. explain, explain to them about the operating agreement and what it means, what it does, and why, why, do you, why you need it. Basically, operating agreement is, uh, tells what controls your business, who controls it, what role are they. Are they CFO, CEO, managing member? What are they in the business? So basically, the operating agreement is going to tell you how much percentage they own, how much shares, right? So when you go into the bank, right? And just say, you're like, okay, they run your credit. They're like, oh, man, you got a 650. We can't give it to you. Mm -hmm. But you got a family member, a relative, a coworker. They have that credit, that's 700. So basically, you would sell them your company, you know, put an agreement together, sell them your company. So then now you can add them to your operating agreement. Mm -hmm. And once you add them to your operating agreement, you just, you know, lower your percentage. So they don't even have to be on the actual LLC. No. You just, you basically just, you transfer, but you make sure you want to trust this person because at this point. For sure. Because <laughs> they basically, you want to drop contracts because they're going to get the loan or the credit line in their name, PG, not in their name, in the business name, but they're going to personal guarantor, which this this loan is not going to show up on their personal credit. It's not going to reflect on their personal credit. It's just to grab the account. Now, when they do that, all they do is just sell you back the company. You change the operating agreement back to you at 100 percent and boom, you own the lie. My operating agreement right now, like a 70, 30 on one of my business. <laughs> on one of your business. Yeah, yeah, for real. I own 30 percent of it on the operating agreement. Yeah. You got to run the play. <laughs> you got to run it. So he's not lying. It's real. It's real. Like yeah. people do this. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, well, let's that. jump back into the trucking, right? How we started, oh. right? Yeah, let's okay. jump back into it. Okay. And basically on the loans, and okay. I got something for you after that. I okay. Did. We'll jump back I'm to the trucking. I'm going to pick your brain, Mr. Four Four Shark. Oh, man. <laughs> let's go. So basically, man, like I was saying, you want to be, you don't want to have trucking in your name. So, yeah. you know, they got trucks. Like, it's more than just semis, box trucks. There's hot shots, there's dualies, you know. Yeah, for and, sure. You know, and there's 30 foot trailers. Which I just acquired one. Goose next. Yep. I just acquired yeah. a loan, a quarter million dollar loan through GM. It's called a, a you know, a line of credit, line, commercial line of credit, C L O C L O C, right? Mm -hmm. They start commercial you line of credit, they start yeah. you at two fifty and they go north from there, man. So I just got it through GM. And what I can do you ain't now, even told me about that one. Bro. I can go to GM, right? And go grab some of those dooleys. Oh yeah, yeah, we have. Exactly. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, listen, that thank you for confirming that. Cause you know what I'm saying? Escalates. Escalates. Uh uh Denali's. Denali's. You wanna start a black truck transportation, VIP airport transportation? Yes, sir. You will know, get a 2023 Cadillac Escalade. You know what I'm saying? Make money off of it and look good driving it. Leisure. Yes, sir. Get, get back in what you say. So basically, you know, I get into that. You know, what yeah, I'm I know. <laughs> so basically, when you grab that line, man, you can go grab about two, three dualies. You can grab maybe about four or five dualies, man, and uh, you know, get you a thirty foot flatbed and start using your trucking company that way. With just those those vehicles there, man, and they got brand new. And how you can keep how you can keep your cash flow as you can lease. Yeah, talk those, about that cash flow. How you can keep your cash flow going as you can lease those trucks. Uh oh. And when you lease them, you get more because, you know, it's a 30-year term. I mean, uh -oh. 
three year term and yeah. it cuts it in half. Two months. Yeah. yeah, it cuts the payment in half instead of owning, you turn it back and you get a new one because well, you're, you're going to dog those yeah, trucks. 36 months, that mouth is off. Y'all ain't hear that. My bad. 36 months. Yeah. Three years, 36 months, about the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it cuts the payment of the truck in half, right? So if the truck is 100000 you're basically paying on 50000 because it's a lease. That's a fact, but they cap you on mileage, though. Yeah, but at the end of your term, yeah. if the truck is a good truck, you might as well just buy it. Might as well. There you go. Cash flow. Mm -hmm. Now in the three years, you just paid that low payment of like 500 instead of 12. Now you're bringing in an extra $500 per truck. So now you're able to save up some money. So when it's time to grab that truck, now you pay. Now you you got that line. Now we still got that. And, and you got them auto, now them autos reporting. Autos report. There you, you go. You built a relationship there you with go. GM Financial. Yes, sir. So now they they you got those extra miles, like you're saying, right? Yeah. So now you got those extra miles. Now they can just finance it and roll it into that line. And that ain't a subprime. Exactly. That, you know what I'm saying? That's not subprime. You got you got an A light on you. You know what I'm saying? GM going crazy. They do the same thing with Ford, and they do the same thing at Ali Bank. Oh, Working Allie, on Allie, Allie giving right up now. their bag. Allie gonna get you in some stuff. You know Allie. what I'm saying? Especially business. Um, BMW? Oh, yeah. You sleep. So I got a BMW <laughs> play for y'all, man. The M850. How you forget that one? Oh, man. I, just, I grabbed the M850 about a year ago, and I put no money down. Zero down. Zero down, man. That was the second one, though. Second BMW. Second. But M850, zero down. Come on, man. That's a $150,000 car. I grabbed that no money down. How I did Under that Under the business. Play, how I did under the company, under yes, the sir. LLC, how I did that play was I established my business credit, right? But if you don't have business credit, we go back to what can, the personal credit. So when you have that personal credit right, you don't even really need to have business credit. They're gonna run on BM, they're gonna run the loan based off your personal credit, right? And then they're going to put the loan in the business. Hey, watch this, bro. I gave them some a crazy gym went well over their head, bro. Back to, to that, right? Talk to me. Finna get into something crazy, right? Go get the, what you just did. Mm -hmm. M850. M850. Zero down. Zero down. But you still got all these taxes built into it, right? Yes, sir. Tell them about a Delaware age court. So basically. Or a Delaware LLC. Delaware, Wyoming, Nevada. Wyoming. They all do the Nevada same thing. Nevada not tax-free no more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the state? Yeah, not, yeah. Oh. Nah, they're not. But Delaware, Wyoming? Yeah, Delaware, Wyoming is the best one. Delaware, the one. Montana, but you know, they, they, get, they yeah. get hip to Montana. I mean, it'll never get, it'll, ne it'll get hit, but as long as... Bro, they, you know, they, I ain't gonna lie. And, and we finna we tell them about, you know what I'm saying, what it means. Mm -hmm. They seize dude in Sandy Springs. He had like four million in cars, seized them right in Sandy Springs. Because he had all Montana plates on his car. They say he was a tax evasion. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that all you gotta, you're supposed Montana. to bring him back there for like two months or something exactly. like that. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the loophole. Never touch the ground. They like, probably never touched Montana. Bugatti never touched Montana. You know never. what I'm saying? But what's, like, tell them about the Delaware Age Court, like running a play and putting the car into a, a Delaware LLC. Delaware, Wyoming. Basically, uh, Delaware is more corporate friendly. Wyoming... Basically, you can hide yourself as an owner. And what you want to do that is because of lawsuits. But we're not looking for those. But they do happen sometimes. They happen sometimes. And you don't want to be liable for that. When that LLC, if it happens to go down, you want to make sure that you liquidate everything in that business and you bankrupt it. That's if it gets to that. But you never want to let it to get to that point. But that's the benefits of a Wyoming LLC, and they don't have state taxes on capital gains. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. That's a super gem. And then on, 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 our on our next one, man, we're going to dip into trust a little bit, but that's, that's a whole nother level, having the trust on the LLC. That's something But no, no, no. I'm on the Delaware, right? Yep. Buying cars on the Delaware LLC. Mm -hmm. No sales tax. No sales tax. That was the Montana play, no sales tax. Montana, yeah, you don't pay uh you don't Delaware pay Valerian. Too. Oh, Delaware too? For sure. I ain't even tap into that. I ain't even... You seen all these Delaware plates on it? Say they popping up now. Tip had one on his culinary. T.I. had one on his culinary. Tiny, his wife, yeah, had one on her Bentley. You know what I'm saying? Hey, people getting help though, bro. Especially when you get up there into that yeah, tax you bracket. Get there, you know what I'm saying? Delaware, they get help. 
Delaware. grabbing an LLC in Delaware, purchase the car under the LLC in Delaware. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? No taxes, sir. It's a gem. And you don't have to live in that state to At operate all. in that state. That's back where I told you make sure you get an anytime mailbox or what, what was that mailbox you were talking about? I postal, Opus. Mm -hmm. Don't do Regis. <laughs> Stay away from them. Yeah. So basically they'll send your mail to you. You know, say they're gonna, you know, you buy a vehicle, you you know, your LLC is in uh Wyoming, but you buy the vehicle in Miami, Atlanta, New York, they'll forward all that mail that you get and you can scan it and have them open it so you can read it. Yeah, yeah, that's a question a lot of people ask mm -hmm. too, if they can for, forward the mail, you know no, what I'm saying? Forward it. Yeah, that's a good one. You want it so you can get it forwarded to you. And man, you can operate everything remotely, man. Without foreign filing. No foreign filings. You know what I'm saying? Fofo Shark, man. I got Fofo Shark here with me starting up the podcast. High level club, man. It's high level shit. High level. High level. Ish. High, high level. <laughs> Gotta yeah, keep yeah, it yeah, PG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleep that out. High level. High, high level, level ish. ish. Gotta keep you know it PG. You know what I'm saying? The, the money talk. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And really unlock a lifestyle, but it takes... Listen, you gotta get that credit right. You gotta get on that business credit. I'm telling you, you can do this under a thousand bucks to get started, a right? A thousand this, bucks. Under a thousand bucks, get started. And 12 months from now, your, your life can change significantly. You know That's what I'm saying? Good. And then you go get in. Oh, you say you about to grab the Lambo truck, too. Oh, yeah, I'm about to grab the Lambo truck in about two weeks. <laughs> hey, look, though. No, so, look, you know they got Lambo trucks at BMW. You know what I'm saying? They do. You ain't even got to go to Lamborghini. You go get BMW. Sometimes they have them at GM. They have some shit sitting up there. They do. I seen, a, I seen the G-Wagon, the Barbosa at... Uh... At Rick Hendrick Chevrolet. I exactly. said, what is this doing over exactly. here? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I was saying? like, yeah, man, you get it. I yeah. said, whoa. Yeah, that, they had it marked up. Super. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, but see, yeah, you got you to gotta get that at it. You got to get that at it. You know what I'm saying? You can't mark up. You don't have nothing. Yeah. You, you, you just got raped. You got done the bad way. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do that. Don't buy markup, bitch. Man, don't buy markup because uh, everything's different right now. Market's correcting in the real estate market. Because vehicles last year... They was up 30%. And Lambos was going. No, it dropped crazy. crazy. I seen one for $199, bro. Lamb truck. Yeah. For real? What? Mm. So we just got flood damage or something? You know Miami notorious for that, too. Miami's notorious <laughs> for flood damage. Co Phantom been underwater. Copart. But nah, seriously. <laughs> oh, yeah, Copart. But nah, seriously, bro. Like, yeah, Lamborghini, bro. They was car hacking them Lamborghinis, bro. Buying them 250 It was going 380 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. Things are changing, so I don't do not buy no marked up vehicle. So we're gonna go back to the businesses too, man. So make it's very important, like when you structure your business carefully, make sure you get your dozen Brad Street, man. Make sure you set that up. Make sure the information is correct. Make sure the information on your business experience is correct. Make sure the information on your business Equifax is correct. You can go to NAV, which is like the credit karma mm -hmm. for business. It's mm -hmm. called NAV. N A V dot com. They need to pay me too. I need some affiliates, man. Man, click the affiliate link, bro. No, I'm gonna have to contact the CEO personally. Yeah, he gotta get with me. He gotta get with me. Uh, I mean, he's gonna have to shoot me a W9 <laughs> or something. Yeah, for sure. But uh But experience my business too. Yeah. You... Bro, and, and see now, see, now it's good though. But see, people be getting into that DMV, the Duns and Bradstreet, bro. It really, as long as you got that experience right. Experience is important. SBFE, small business financial exchange. You don't really need them duns, bro. Nah, duns you know what I'm saying? Started. You ain't getting no funding from duns. You yeah. know what I'm saying? How you feel about the A to B fuel card? They just started pouring two to uh, experience. Yeah, A to B is a real good fuel card to start off with. Yeah. Even if you uh even if you don't have a trucking business, any business, I mean, yeah. well, do have a business. Yeah, with but, like two car rentals, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You don't know, ain't got to be day. like diesel and all that. Day to day, man, and keep it going, show them that you can pay them back. And they're going to increase that line. Because there was a time one. they wasn't even reporting. I had them when they weren't reporting. So that's a jam now that they're reporting for real because they, uh, they report the experience now. I had them when they wasn't even reporting. It's a new card that just came out. I'm going to drop it. It's called Coast. Coast.com. They, um, they just approved me for like $12,000. Uh, their gas card. They also, you can unlock maintenance. But you got to send bank statements. But uh, they got gas only. That's for people that are in the trucking industry. It's called Coast. They'll prove you, man, get you started. You can use that anywhere just like A to B. They're a good car. And they're net, they're net 15 instead of a net 7. Net 7 days, yeah. Yep. Which I, is, you got to pay it back think, in 7 days. <laughs> I think uh, A to B, isn't it a net 7? 
Yeah, they said that net seven. Mm. Hey, be net, they been net seven. I, I think it's still saying net seven. Mm. Yeah, yeah, net seven time. Um, check this out, bro. You was just telling me about something crazy, though. Talk to I want to get into them FHA loans. I want, listen, this is what I want my people to do. I'm all about empowering my people. Anybody watching me, up your income, I want to empower them, right? Up your income. Click the link below, <laughs> upyourincome.net. Subscribe to the channel right now. 44 Shark with me. We're going crazy right listen. now. Listen. First episode, bro. Listen, bro. We about to give them a million dollars worth of game. You know I'm about to get into You know I had to break it through. I had to break through like this, bro. They want to buy houses, right? Yes, sir. They renting right now. Talk about the FHA loans. The loan with no, 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 uh, what was it? No docs? No docs. Mm. Talk heavy. That's the non-FA. That's the non-QM loans. Non-qualified mortgage loans. Bring that back. That's the non QM loans, yeah. non-qualified mortgage. Those basically are based off your bank statements. Yeah. So you can get approved. Hold up, say that one more time. The non non uh -huh. QM loans. QM loans. Yep. Okay. Those are basically based off your bank statements, right? So these loans are typically just off your income because a lot of people just got random income coming in their cash apps. Yeah. Coming in their PayPal's. Yep. Getting Zelles every other way. So those type of loans basically. They're non QM. Mm -hmm. You got to put down around 10 to 15 percent, but you don't have to have your tax returns because I know sometimes it's a challenge for some people because their tax returns are low, but their revenue in their bank account is higher than, you know what I'm saying? And another, what else were you trying to get me? I into? really want, yeah, buying houses, right? But check this out. Getting into the real estate investment side, right? Just being a real estate investor, you were just telling me about something crazy because, right, you got properties, right? Yep. Um, if they want to come in as a real estate investment right, investor, you was telling me about one. You was pointing them in the right direction. Um, where was it? Hmm. It wasn't the FHA. Oh, nah, FHA. 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 You wasn't no docs. Nah, FHA. They were quite living it though. Mm, yeah, for a year. Yeah, for a year. Yeah. Are you talking about the complete build? Build. There you go. Basically, it is the FHA. It's the FHA okay. 203K. Woo! Yep. Man, stop your stuff, bro. That's what it is, man. It's the what? It's the FHA 203K. You still put down 3.5%, but it's a, it's a one-time closed loan. So basically, okay. the rehab and the purchase price is all in one loan. Yeah. It typically takes a little bit longer sometimes. That's why you want to go out and find your contractor first. Yeah, facts. Because you need a licensed contractor for this because got, got they got to shoot that quote, that bid to the bank. But once you're approved... You know, for the amount, you can go ahead and budget yourself. Go ahead and find you a property. Make sure you go ahead and find you a distressed property so there's plenty of equity to build in that deal. So after you're done living in that house for um, a year, you can go ahead and cash out, refinance, and go ahead and get some money in your pocket so you can go ahead and invest in your next bro, you're talking project. way too fast, bro. I need to run it back. I need to run, run it back. that back, Turbo. So basically... <laughs> you All right, so check this out, cuz. All right, so I wanna, I'm, 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 I'm coming in this as a baby, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm talking for people that are coming in as a baby, right? I know nothing about this, but I know I wanna get into real estate. I know I wanna fix and flips, rehabs, bills, you know what I'm saying? I done got my credit right, I'm, I'm good on that. Got a little money in my pocket now, so point me in the right direction so I can get this started, right? Because I, I probably got, what, 20,000 right now. Say you have 20000 yeah. now you want to target your market, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to be an investor, you got to study your market. So always, your first, first project, do not make it a whole, you know, renovation, a big one. You want to start small. Start get your small, feet yeah. wet. Go to the closing table. Mm -hmm. Get your confidence up. Learn, you know learn, what I'm saying? Learn, learn. learn the game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So once you learn the game, you learn how to fish. You can fish forever, man. So... Come basically, on, so you can eat forever. <laughs> so basically, pick a market, right? Pick a market that you're comfortable in, preferably that you live by, so you can go and you know look for contractors. And then, once you find that property, if you're not gonna go to FHA way, if you don't have your tax returns to get that 3.5 percent down, you go ahead and you know look at tax liens. Mm -hmm. Go to your tax office, right? So they got properties there. Find out if your state is a tax deed state or yeah. a tax lien state. There's so two different things. A tax, tax deed state yeah. and a tax lien state. Yeah, a tax okay. deed state means you take over deed, basically take over the property as soon as you buy that house from mm -hmm. the auction from them. 
a tax lien status, you have to wait a year to get that property, to convey that property, and to foreclose with that property. So you really want to, that's another way, 20 grand, you go out there on the courthouse steps, it's the first Tuesday of every month. Yeah. You go out there, it's just like an auction, man. You register, you go look at the properties, go pull the, go to the, uh, the treasury, go to your state, your local state website, or go down to the courthouse, say, hey, I want to know where the tax assessor's office, go to the tax office, say, hey, I want to know where the treasury is, talk to the treasurer, be like, hey, I want to know what, can I get the property uh, tax deed list? I went, okay, they're going to give it to you. Now go and go you drive. You did this. Yeah, I've done this, man. You still do this? I still do this to this day. So this works. This works. This is how, this how you get them deals. This is how you get those deals, man. This is how you, get, this, this is how you up your income. That's how you up your income, man. Ooh. If you got cash. Talk about it. Ten to 20000 you go ahead and grab you something. 10000 Jump in the game. Jump in the game. Same. Oh, man, come on, man. Not just 10K, you can jump in this game. Jump in the so game. So how much you jumped in with? I jumped in the game, man. I started You're a high off, level player. You came in with an M. Nah, man. I, I started. Know you did. I started off slow, man. Nah. I jumped in the game. <laughs> I used my uh, my credit cards and I leveraged, and I went and I had grabbed the property uh, from uh, driving for dollars, man. Went Bro, there to the seller crazy. and uh, locked in a deal. And uh, I just ended up buying it from him and never looked back. And never looked back, brother. So you got. So you really like you. You got. You got a taste of that real estate. You was like, "This it right here, man." That's man. It's the it's generational wealth because it's compound interest. You go ahead and you put your money in this bank, right? Yeah. I go ahead and put this thirty thousand in this bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm spending it. It looks good just sitting there. I mm -hmm. know I got it, but if I go ahead and sink this thirty thousand, twenty percent on this asset, which and I'm getting and I'm getting after you know after property taxes overhead. I'm netting at least five to seven hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. on this property. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You get rent it, renting it. Section eight. Let me ask you this. Oh yeah, section eight gonna pay guaranteed. Yes, sir. Let me ask you this. How do you? Cause I mean, you, you gotta, you gotta think, bro. You already know I'm finna go with this. Where you finna go, man? I, you know I'm finna go with this. Talk to me. You know I'm all about man, shit, evolving, right? Pushing forward, right? I like fast money, right? Talk to me. I like that. That's, that's that slow dough. You're going to be generational wealth, though. You know what I'm saying? That's that slow dough. But, man, how, for real, how do you feel about them short-term rentals, though, bro? Short-term rentals? Yeah, Airbnb, Booking.com, Speedy. You know, I gave them that play. I ran them that. Man, man you know people doing M's on that. That's excellent. You just got to K a month. You just got to be in a good market like Miami, like here we are yeah. today. You, you can know, do it remotely from you anywhere can. in the world. You just got to pick a great market. Miami, New York, or well, New York a little tight on their Airbnb. Yeah, they're tight on like restrictions. Tight. Stuff, right? Yeah. But it ain't even just Airbnb though, because I be putting people, you know, people have what they say about Airbnb, but I done literally showed them how to get on Booking.com, Expedia. Expedia on like how many websites? Watch Verbo. this, bro. Verbo too. Yeah, Verbo. Guess what people do though? People go type in hotels in Miami. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Your property going to pop up on that. What? You're going to put one tenant in your rental property, right? And you'll make one profit. You know what I'm saying? But think about it. You can literally go take one property, do 10K this month, 15K this month, right? Profit. And you, you know a good thing you say that. Um, a friend of mine, <clears throat> he does, uh, he contacts the traveling nurses agencies, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you contact them and you got a nice property in a hot area, you know, generally you can call them and be like, hey, I got a, uh, I got a two bedroom loft, mm -hmm. Miami. Yeah. Let me know if you got any traveling nurses in the area. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good for rent. And they owe rent it month to month. Yeah. I'm, three I'm, months at a time. And they're doing that. You're not doing Airbnb. You're going straight directly through a company. You go ahead and just, you know, just type them in online and just call them and say, hey, uh, I got some properties in this area. Let me know if you have any nurses. That are coming. And watch this, bro. Watch, watch. I like what you, you got a lot of gems. But watch this, though. You ain't even got to call and ask nobody nothing. Talk they go me. find you. go sign up, right? You, same properties you, you're teaching people how to get a, approved for, right? Now they own this house. So there's no, as long as there's no uh, HOA, you know yeah. what I'm saying? There's HOA. no restrictions, all right? Yeah. So you can literally list this property on Expedia Partner Central. I got this pulled up right now. They own Expedia, Travelocity, Hotwire, Hotels.com. Um, e-bookers, VRBO, cheap tickets, Trivago, 
HomeAway, Orbis, VacationRentals.com. You can literally sign up for them, right? Mm -hmm. Your traffic of eyes and people seeing your property is insane, bro. Mm. Plus Airbnb in a hot market like Miami. Bro, I'm literally, I like, just talked to a dude, bro. He pulling in one property, 15K profit. Overhead, probably 2,500. After his overhead? 2,500. Mm. What, you know, yeah, 2,500. That's good. Going crazy, because you can fluctuate the prices. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I kind of got out of that buying hole, let me put a tenant in place, because, man, you, you, you limited. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take you forever to really, you're going to need, you know, 100 properties. Whereas I can go take 10 properties and do 100K a month. Yeah, but you got to understand uh, the way inflation is set up. Yeah. Like right now, the same house you can buy five years ago, they ain't the same price. You know Yesterday the price, another day's price. So yeah. it don't matter if you making that 700 off a property every month. That property is going to grow in about five years. You're going to be Equity. able to... You're gonna be able to refinance that yeah. and get more money out of it. There you go. And then on top of that, you're gonna raise those rents. You're not gonna be just making that five. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you still, it's just you're not putting a tenant in it. It's, it's still the same. You mm -hmm. know, you still own the house. Yeah. You're just getting more cash flow. Cash flow. You cash see what I'm saying? You you just getting more cash flow. So it's still yes, yeah, you still can go refinance, pull the equity. You know what I'm saying? Because sure. you still own it. It's just. You're really producing more cash flow now versus just putting one tenant in there. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And you're only making your capping, you know, a cap on on your what your income is monthly. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. But when you blend all these different marketing strategies together, and you got all these different websites that you can go use, because people travel, bro. People pay. You get groups of people paying, right? They go, I don't care, thousand, two thousand. You know what I'm saying? Go put one in Cabo or somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And people pay, bro. Like, so I mean, yeah, you still still the same, same formula. It's just I'm thinking of it as more of an income, you know, more income. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Versus putting a tenant. Because I know you got rental properties too, right? Mm -hmm. And right. they and I know you scaling, because what you about 200? Yeah. We're, so <laughs> we're, going close, crazy. we're getting close, we're getting close to that number, man. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, for people just jumping in, bro, and you know, that's it's hard for them now. You know what I'm saying? It's, they're not finding people, you know what I'm saying? They got a seven hundred dollars a month. It's like it's not a really incentive life changer, right? No, what I mean seven hundred, I mean seven hundred dollar profit a that's month on each property. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Oh. It's, it's not life changing, you're right. You know what I'm saying? What's that? Eighty four hundred dollars a year? Think about that. You got ten of those. Yeah. That's seven thousand, right? Yeah. We're not talking about how did you get that house? Now, you got that house, but now... I don't think you heard what I said, Shark. What? One property, 15K a month. Seven figures a year. $8,400 a year. You Up right. your income. I, I be talking, you know what I'm saying? You, I be on that money shit, though. You definitely you know do. What I'm, saying? I'm on that, jet, that you know, that long term. Yeah, 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 it's long term. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we, we, we can't be waiting. Yeah. You, know you still own the property. You know what I'm saying? So even if you say, okay, now nah, I'm going to go put a tenant in it. I'm going to go you know, sell it now. It doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like there's a new wave now, you know what I'm saying? Because you get people now that can't get approved, they have felonies, yep. credit issues. Credit. Guess what? I'm gonna go rent your Airbnb for 30 days monthly. You was getting 700 when you went, through, you see what I'm saying? But now I got on a nightly, what, $200 a night, 6000 a month. Yeah, but these aren't in high areas like where we gonna, where you would get the Airbnbs where you have your <laughs> okay, Airbnbs. Okay. Yeah, okay. These is like, you That's know, Ohio, uh, yeah, 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 Cleveland, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Columbus, okay. But those are easier to get in. Yeah, easier you to get in. You acquire more for yeah. less and, and they sell. Yeah. The scale. St. Louis. That's a good place. Up, 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 up and coming. Yeah, people digging up in St. Louis. Yeah, I know somebody out there doing some, some good work out there. You in Detroit? Yup. I'm heavy out there, man. I love that. I love that city, man. I'm gonna own half of it. I'm gonna be Dan Gilbert out there, bro. You you really went up to Detroit. This man in Detroit, like what? Five times a week. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm over here trying. Man, what to you got going on in Detroit, though, bro? Man, about three million of the assets are up there. It's crazy. It's and, crazy. Um, I bought a lot of that property, you know, during the pandemic. Yeah. Nobody was even thinking about real estate. They were yeah. thinking about putting masks on. Yeah. I'm over there just grabbing oh, them. You know what they was thinking about. Yeah. Coronavirus. 
Huh? Coronavirus? What is it? COVID? Nah, nah, they weren't thinking about coronavirus. What they were thinking about? Sharks out here. <laughs> it was in the water. PPPs. And, oh, yeah. Didn't, didn't invest nothing. They yeah. didn't invest nothing. Yeah, they didn't invest. They was getting all that unemployment PPP money. Not a dime invested. Boy, they was at the... You see what I'm saying? Ringing the bell every weekend. Got to come back, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This right here, yeah, it's forever. Forever. You know what I'm saying? For the rest of your life, you pass this down to your kids for real. Can't pass down all that old designer clothes and all. You can't pass none of that down, no, you man. you can't, man. But you can pass those properties down, bro. And that's why I like picking your brain, bro. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yes, sir. You really, and I got to give you flowers, brother. You really opened my eyes. I talked to you, what, two, three years ago? Three years ago. About almost four, actually. Almost now. four years ago. Four years ago now. Bro, you pushed me into this credit game for real heavy, bro, because I ain't even going to lie. I owe you a lot of respect, bro, because you, you was already ahead then. Mm-hmm. And the day I sat down with you at your spot, bro, like, that changed my whole mindset. Bro. Hey, you, you went, I ain't even hear from him. Boy, went to the moon. Next, I came back. Hey, look back. Culinary. <laughs> Hey, look, Everything man. crazy. I'm telling you, bro. By leveraging credit, bro, and you really opened my eyes to that, bro. Appreciate and thank it, you for that, bro. For I appreciate real. that, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's all the right that I lock uh-huh. in with my brother. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. For real, because we two black young men, bro. And it's important we showing not just black, but anybody, right? Any that race. That you can do anything. Anything you want. But when you walk into them banks, when you're trying to, everything that we're talking about, everything, where they living, where they driving, where they, where they work, everybody's leveraging business credit. Honda, who else? Walmart, they go shop at Walmart, Walmart business credit. I put their business credit profile one time. It's crazy. Yeah. Ain't they not? Think about it like this. Yeah. Think about how, how good business credit is and how you can recom- recuperate from your company, even if you have a, you know, you have a slow revenue. I'm yep. gonna put an example. Hertz. Hertz filed for bankruptcy, right? I didn't even know that. Yeah, Hertz yeah. filed for bankruptcy about two years ago, right? Yeah. And um, they defaulted on all their loans. They come back, right? Okay. After they defaulted on their loans, Elon Musk go ahead and give them a hundred thousand dollar test, hundred, hundred k in Teslas, like hundred Teslas, hundred k in Teslas, like here, here y'all go. After y'all cleared y'all debt, so it don't mean you file bankruptcy, your business is over with. People buy businesses out of bankruptcy. Mm-hmm. Like Taj Lopez, he bought what? Yeah, uh, Taj Lopez, he got what? Dress with... Barn, Pier mm-hmm. One. Radio Shack. People buying those. Who was that guy, Radio Shack? It was Taj Lopez. Yeah, it's Taj. He yeah. bought all those uh, bankrupt companies. Diddy yeah. bought his uh, company back. Sean John, he sold it to them. Whoa. They bankrupted. He, he going to bankrupt it back. again, though. <laughs> so, he going to bankrupt again. That's another thing, too. Get you a. Uh, Sometimes, uh, if you want to get really ahead of the game quick in a week, go get you a shelf corp. There you go. Go get you an age corporation. There you go. Go get you a corp that's like about 10, 20 years old. Yeah, there you go. And now you got your foot all the way in the door because. Man, you're talking my language now, my brother. Now it comes with some trades and then you can build it. Then, you know, you can buy. Some got dead on them, though. Yeah. You got to be careful. You got to be playing with them. Yeah. See, that's why I like Wyoming. I'm, I'm held to a new one now. I ain't going to drop that yet. I got to show you this one, bro. I'm going to have to see it. Blank comes with EIM, 1998. You seen it. I seen it. Yeah, you're going to spend a bag, but guess 1998, nothing. Business primaries, too, man. That's another way you can scale. You know, you can, uh, listen, uh, I'm going to have that link in the bio, too, man. Y'all got to get with me. I got some business primaries. I got a sale going on. Ten Duns and Brad Street accounts and uh, five business experience, business Woo-hoo. Equifax. Just so you can go ahead and get your jump start if you're serious about that million dollars. Hold on, you days. got wet now? I got 10, 10 DMB. 10 DMB. Okay. Five experience, five Equifax. It's a package. And crazy. I mean, what that telescope going to look like when that shit load up? Listen, 80 <laughs> paid X, uh, business experience above 80, uh, oh, that's Equifax. Funded. 600. You fund it. Come on, man. You fund it. You fund it. You say you want to get that million in 30 days, right? Million in 30 days. You, you say playing, you want bro. to get that million in 30 days, right? You got a mentorship days, right? going on right now, too? Mentorship going on right yeah, now. high-level mentorship. Listen, yeah. It's $5,000 for the mentorship for today. The next 24, 48 hours, we're doing it for 1500 for y'all, man. Nah, yeah. man. You got to keep this. You got to give them that, man. What about the people? They ain't going to see this. I know. The Better lock that, in now. The people that already <laughs> locked in with the 5000 I'm sorry, but for the next 24, 48 yeah. hours, man, I'm trying to get, you know, I'm trying to show everybody who ain't got that 5000 right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. Go ahead and join for that 1500 Go ahead and get in. 
We're going to put that link in the bio. I paid you for some game before, oh, too. Oh, yeah, my man. I ain't going to lie. I paid him he, for some game, he too. He paid that 5000 You know what I'm saying? I don't think. I, don't, yeah, don't. I paid him for some game, too, man. It's the man to sit down with. I ain't just having no anybody around me. You know what I'm saying? High level player right here, man. 4 4 Shark. Definitely go follow my brother, man, if you're ready to go to that next level. That real estate, you, don't get into that real estate game. Got to. It's the man with the plan. And definitely, man, with your friends, when yep. they selling things in their business, man, don't ask them for a discount. <laughs> Please don't ask them for a discount. Just pay what it costs. Just pay what it costs, yeah. man. You don't go in Louis and ask them what's the discount. Definitely. You don't? It, it don't matter because you ain't going to get it. So they don't, I don't even think they be having the price tags on their stuff. You just, put, just ring it up. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. I, you, think about it. You, have you ever seen a... Numbers what, just pop what, up. You have a come on in that. The numbers be jumbled together. You don't know what you're spending. They be hiding the tag. It's, like, it's in the folder. You got to lift the flap. 19000 <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What, what, is what is that? You don't even know. The numbers, they are green and stuff. You know, they got them old retro screens. And yeah. Too. Yeah, man. They gonna, yeah, you coming out with that load. This ain't none of that digital stuff. I Tap know, the pay. They take your card in the back. In the, yeah. <laughs> go in Sir. The, go in the closet. Yeah. Man, up your income that net, man. This is my brother, Fofo Shark, man. Hey, man, it's time to go to that next level. 2023 going to be a big level. year. Big year. Big year, bro. You know what I'm saying? Big on big, bro. And I'm telling you, like, we got a lot of work to do. Got a lot of work to do, man. We got the mentorship. Go tap in with my brother, mentorship. Tap in with the mentorship, man. We're going to leave that link in the bio, man. Y'all hit me on my DM. Y'all be Zell ready, Cash App ready. Well, I'll show you the link so y'all can pay with y'all credit or debit card. But man, be payment ready. Payment ready. Cause listen, and I'm gonna take you 2023. To that we ain't playing. You no, know, it's playing. not payment. Don't ask a man your questions. You know what I'm saying? You gonna pay what it costs. We ain't no discounts. Be ready to go to that next level. I'm gonna flood you with information. I'm gonna show you step by step. Yeah. You can have my direct line. You can call me. Ask me anything, any time of the night. Unless I'm on vacation, I'll put that in the schedule. Nah, man, come but, on. I pick up on vacation. My assistant, my uh, uh, executive assistant will pick up and yeah. I get back to you within 24 hours. <laughs> nah, but, that's, just with you. but that's usually if I'm, uh, you can't reach me, I'm on a boat somewhere. You be on them boats too. Yeah, I'll be on a boat. Lake Lanier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. Fishing. I like Lake Lanier though. That's a, you bro, where you get the name from, Fofo Shark, bro? I mean, you got to think about it. I'm a shark, man. Yeah. Think about it. When a shark smells blood, well, he go get it, right? So... Instead of the blood, when I smell money, I go get it. <laughs> Big weight. Big leagues. Shark in the water. Yes, sir. But everybody say, you're a shark in the water and you swim with the little fish. You know what I'm saying? You're a shark in the water. They swim with the little fish. Don't swim with the little fish. Come swim with the high level. Man, the high level tap numbers. in with Income Cam, man. 2023. Y'all you know tap in with them. I'm going to get your credit right. Get your lifestyle up. Tap me with the business, the real estate. Yes, I sir. can show you once you get that credit. And you get that funny. I can show you how to get a cash flowing business. Yes, sir. Cash flowing assets. Yes, sir. Real estate, trucking. Yes, sir. Those are two easiest. Yes, sir. And I can show you just how to build your portfolio. And I'm gonna show you how to get a Lambo truck out of they come to you. I'm yeah. show you how to get a Lambo truck. Yeah, this is this, this private that guy. private jet. This that guy. You know what I'm saying? They gonna elevate their lifestyle. They ain't looking back. They gonna they gonna be at Turks and Caicos somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. Making money and they sleeping not on their feet. Right, but yeah, man. man. First podcast, first episode, man. My boy Fofo Shark. Income Cam, man. See y'all soon. A million under 30 days, man. Just tap in with us. Link in the bio. Let's go.